Bismillah wa salat wa salam ala Rasulullah. Is there someone that ever came to your mind, an old friend perhaps, an acquaintance, someone even that you used to be very close to? What happens when they come to your mind? Sometimes your mind starts wandering, your mind goes down memory lane, you're thinking of all the good things, all the hours that you spent together, maybe the trips that you made together, the funny things that you did, the laughs that you shared. And sometimes those relationships ended on a really good note and just a lot of time has passed. Or sometimes those relationships didn't end on such a great note. Or perhaps the relationship just slowly drifted apart. But regardless, those people in that used to be a part of your life do come to your mind. So what can we do when we think of these people? A good deed would be to make dua, make supplication for this person that you just thought about. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in a hadith, Whenever a Muslim makes a dua or supplication for another Muslim behind his or her back, there is an angel that will say, may the same be for you. Wouldn't you want an angel to make dua for you simply because you made a sincere dua for somebody else? That's powerful. In another narration, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told Uqba ibn Amir radiallahu anhu, Reconcile whoever cuts you off, give to whoever deprives you, and pardon whoever wrongs you. Imagine if you're able to rid enmity from your heart, if you're able to let go of bad feelings. Imagine the benefit of this for you in this life and in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also reminds us in the Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, verse 134, the believers are those who spend in ease and hardship and who restrain their anger and pardon the people. For Allah loves those who do good. Taking these concepts together, being able to forgive even those who have wronged you, and also the action of making dua, making supplication for somebody behind their back, Imagine how much goodwill is created in this world and imagine this constant renewal of good feelings in your heart and removal of bad feelings from your heart. It only creates good for you in this life and in the hereafter and definitely creates good for other people. Let's build the habit of forgiving people, pardoning people. Being able to empathize may help us in doing so. It may help us to think, what made this person act the way they did? What made this person make the choices that they did that eventually hurt me? Why is it that they live this way or act this way? When we're able to maybe think about their life situation, maybe their upbringing, maybe hardships we don't know about, it makes it a little bit easier for us to forgive. It's not a requirement for us, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does tell us that it is something better for us. And when we think about those people, Let's make dua for them. Let's supplicate. If we know of a specific need of theirs, let's make a specific dua. If we don't know their current situation, make general dua of goodwill for them, for their family, to maybe have a family, uh, for their belongings, for their health, so on and so forth. So let's build this habit. As soon as you think of somebody, a thought comes across your mind about an acquaintance, old or new, make dua for them. Don't wait. And if there's some bad feeling that you have for them, Try to forgive them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you in this life and in the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.